Hi Jim, it's um, Livingston at Capo on Saturday in the league. Just played them recently. Um, what was the thoughts going into the game? Obviously having the Iron Brew Cup, so sort of recently just passed. Yeah, well, I think the one thing that tells you is um, how organised and how disciplined um, Livingston are, and uh, you know they know how to do their jobs and they do it very, very well and very consistent. Um, I'm really a setback last week. The loss is at Mun, but. Um, you know, they've started the season in terrific form and I'm, I'm sure they'll be looking to bounce back from that. But the one thing it does tell the players is, is that, uh, you know, unless they're is equally committed, then they're going to be in for a very difficult afternoon. It's so fresh in the memory, does that affect the players, do you think, in how they approach this game at all when they've just played a team so... Just in the sense, as I said, you've got an understanding how the opposition play, but no two games are exactly the same. But, you know, the principles can be the same. But what we've got to do is we've got to play a lot better. That can affect how Livingston play. They'll play their style and we've got to adapt to that. But we've got to play a lot better um, than we did. But as I mentioned to you before, Jonathan, that, that was whatever it was a couple of weeks ago now. And, you know, we, we have to look, look at the next game in its own merits and, and play in the style and the manner um, that suits our team and uh, the group of players that we have. Uh, and that's 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 our intention to do that on Saturday. But we, we do know we have to do everything a lot quicker, a lot sharper. Uh, I was delighted with the second half performance last week against uh, Inverness. I thought we were terrific in the second half. Really took the game to a team who'd just been uh, relegated uh, and, and showed a great response, really. And if we can get that type of performance, then we're in a good shape. Well, that the Inverness second half, it was a really pleasing display. You're going for more of the same then, yeah? Yeah, I mean, again, it was great for Robert Thompson to score his first league goal. Um, obviously, um, uh, you know, that, that's always important for players to come in and, 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 and they feel as if they're, they're, they're starting to make a contribution. Um, but, you know, overall, as I said, I think that uh, the players had to weather a bit of a, a storm in the first half in terms of, you know, it was a very strong win. They got us penned in. We didn't really get um, adapt to their system of play. But we, we regrouped at half time. Um, the players took on board and they went out in the second half with a, and had a terrific response. So, you know, we, we, we understand that, um, you know, sometimes the opposition can give you problems and we've got to adapt to that, but adapt it a little bit sooner rather than wait to half time. Any team news, Jim, ahead of the game? Uh, no, I think everyone uh, other than Nico Day, who's long term injury, is, is OK. Uh, young Scott Tiffany had a, a viral thing at the weekend there and was off for a couple of days but he, he's, he's trained so he's not maybe 100% fit but he certainly he should be okay to be in the squad on Saturday and everyone else uh, is, is okay who's been involved in the last couple of weeks. Jack Iredale, did he have anything? He, he wasn't involved in the 20s and was uh... Yeah, he, he just, uh, Jack's diabetic and therefore, uh, you know, he just, uh, just felt very, we, we did quite a, a demanding session on Tuesday and you know he just felt a little bit uh, unwell but no no he's fully recovered he checked his sugar levels everything was okay in that way but you just have to be a little bit careful uh, in that situation but uh, no he's fine um, so as i said uh, everyone's available um will be okay for for saturday and again once again we look to try and pick the right um, team on the pitch to go and compete with a very competitive livingston i'm sure a very determined livingston but we we should be as well and um you know, we've had a decent start, we've had two away games, we've picked up points and, and a good home victory in the league. And if we can if we can manage to pick up three points against Livingston, then you know that, that just gives us a little bit of belief that we can go on and, and do well in the coming weeks. It was a mocking golf day yesterday. Did you enjoy the day? Did you have a good day? Davey Wiley's telling me there his team won, he made sure I knew that. Yeah, yeah. I think Davey's team were the most colourful team in terms of the attire, that's for sure. Um, you, you wouldn't miss them. Uh, and uh, by all accounts, um, they, they played very, very well. Uh, obviously, I just went down to support the event. It was a terrific event. A lot of the players went. I think we had about 11 players there, and Davey as well was part of the staff. And uh, the boys all had a great day. And it was a, it was a, you know, the weather was terrific as well, and, and everybody really enjoyed it. And you know, uh, I think that uh, as I said, it was a very worthwhile event. And as I said, the most important thing is everybody had a, a really enjoyable day. I heard Gary Harkins went close. To, was it 10,000 pounds for the, a hole in one in one of the? Yeah, there was, a, there was only one, I think, at the 17th, and Gary's a very good golfer, I think he plays off a very low handicap, I think he's about a two or something like that, but um, yeah, I believe he was he was quite close, but uh, it doesn't matter whether you're six inches or six feet, if it doesn't go in, you don't win the 10,000. Brilliant, Jim. Excellent. Thank Cheers. you very much for your time. Good luck on Saturday. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers.